Hi, this is Christy from ChristyCoromanda.com. In today's video, I'd like to show you how you can use your bone folder to create professional score lines on your cards and paper crafting projects. So let's get started. So what is a score line? A score line is a professionally made crease that you apply to your cards and paper crafting projects so that you can get a crisp and accurate line and fold. You can use score lines to create cards, to create things like boxes, or to even add decorative accents to your cards and paper crafting projects. We don't recommend folding your card stock when making a card without first scoring it because when you do, you can get some crinkling and crackling of your cardstock, particularly on the inside of the fold. So you can see a little bit on this card that I have kind of a crease score line as opposed to a score line that you get when you take your time to score first and then burnish your cardstock. So let me show you a few different ways that you can use your bone folder to create a score line in your cardstock. The first way I like to show you is using a ruler. So you have some options. You can use a traditional ruler or a steel ruler and you want to determine where you want your score line. So for this score line, I want to make a card that looks similar to this. So what I want to do is create a card, a score line right down the center of my cardstock. So this cardstock here measures 16 centimeters long. So I want to make my score line at the 8 centimeter mark. So to do that, I'm going to come in with my ruler. Yeah, if you've got a T square, that will be perfect because you've got your straight edge down the side so you know that you're lining things up properly. But all I'm going to do is take in a pen or a pencil and make a very light mark here. That's a guide mark for me. And then I'm going to move down towards the bottom of my cardstock and then I'm going to make that same mark yet again at 8 centimeters down the bottom. That way when I bring my ruler up to the top, I can line up those two little marks with my ruler and know that I have a straight line. Again, you could use your traditional ruler or your T-square ruler to mark this as well. So now holding my, t my ruler in place, I'm going to bring, bring in our bone folder. And to bring your score lines, you're going to use the pointed tip end of your bone folder and you're going to use your ruler as a straight edge and you're going to apply pressure to your bone folder and you're going to run it down the straight edge of your ruler. Now I like to run it a couple of times so that I know I'm getting a really nice score line and hopefully you can see that nice score line, that valley that my bow folder has created. And then you can come in with an eraser and erase those pencil marks that you have on your card there. And just so you know that once you've created your score line, when you go to fold your card, you want to fold away from that valley. So you're going to fold it away this way and then go ahead and finish your card in order to create that nice crisp. And in another video, I'll show you how to do that burnishing with your bone folder. Believe it or not, you can also use your bone folder with your Simply School tool. Now, instead of using your stylus, now if you happen to misplace your stylus and can't find where you where you misplaced it, you can use the tip of your bone folder in your scoring tool as well. So you want to line up your tick in a little groove that matches as to where you want your score line and then you're just going to drag it along that groove on your Slimply scoreboard. And again you'll get that nice score mark there as well. The other place that you can utilize your bone folder is with your stamping trimmer. Now your stamping trimmer comes with a cutting blade and with the scoring blind, but I also like to use my bone folder to create some deeper score lines, particularly in some decorative accents on my card. So I'd like to show you how you can add some decorative score lines onto um, my card here, which is very similar to dry embossing. So this is the front of my card, and I want to create a couple of vertical lines on the side of this card here, but I like them to be embossed, so raised. So I'm going to work on the inside of my card. So I'm just going to place my cardstock right underneath my cutting bar here, and I want to make my score lines 
at my two and a half centimeter mark so I'm just going to line up my cardstock at the two and a half centimeter mark and I'm going to put my bone folder into the groove here and score along that channel and you can see that I've now created this really decorative score line along the edge of my card so I want to do another one and so I'm going to move to the two centimeter line mark and that this grid really helps you line things up and then once again I'm just going to press again and I now create this really nice decorative edge on my card that can either go either way and it creates a nice finishing look and you can keep going ahead and create some grid lines so if you want to go and put it in this way you can create this line to create a grid pattern on your cardstock there's some other options for creating your bone fodder we just start with your ruler but you can also use it with your stamping trimmer to create some decorative accents for your cards and paper crafting projects and also with your simply score tool if you happen to misplace the stylus that comes with your tool so there you have it a video on how to utilize your bone fodder to create score lines on your cards and paper crafting projects